Hey there, welcome back to True North Reviews. My name is Ryan. Today we're breaking down the latest record from Silver Sun Pickups. This one is entitled Widow's Weeds. This is the fifth studio album from the American alternative rock band following up their synth-heavy and crunching guitar-centric efforts on 2015's Better Nature. Brian and the gang are back with Widow's Weeds, notably more introspective than ever. They've also teamed up with producer Butch Vig, the man who has famously produced many famous albums over the years, including Nirvana's Nevermind, Smashing Pumpkins, Siamese Dream, Garbage's self-titled to name a few and with his production comes a more collaborative process with this new silver sun pickups record their bassist nikki praised butch for how he listened to each band member individually while also chunking the recording of this album into two sessions this album as the title would suggest it's about mourning it's also about change lead vocalist and guitarist brian wants to emphasize that part of the equation this record was written at a dark time in his life it was inspired by this journey to sobriety and the ups and downs that came along with that. Now instrumentally, Widow's Weeds is a diverse project. There are synthesizers that creep up on the opener Neon Wound, acoustic guitars on the lead-off single It Doesn't Matter Why, some electronic drums on Don't Know Yet, and there are orchestral elements to a couple of these tracks too. So overall, conceptually and sound-wise, I feel like this is Silver Sun Pickups' tightest and most cohesive project to date. There's a narrative weaved through the track list that even if each song doesn't nail it with a memorable hook, I feel like I'm gravitating towards what the story is and what's going on here. For example, there are vivid images and metaphors for what a possible relationship is with oneself during addiction on songs like Straw Man, Songbirds, and We Are Chameleons. Songbirds in particular features a driving pulse in its chorus, a very dire and intense. The bass playing on this one along with Freakazoid is amazing. Even the quieter moments on this album go over well. Sympatico releases the tension from Songbirds and it delves into slower musical passages with a shift focus to the guitars. Additionally, the musical textures in Don't Know Yet, Straw Man, and Simpatico, they evolve. They progress from the electronic or rootsy folk sounds and mirror this metamorphosis or change that the protagonist is going through personally, acquiring sobriety, but also shifting to more of the alternative rock genre as the album does this sonically. Orchestral elements are appreciated on this record too, with the title track, like I said, a diverse project for the instruments. And not only does this album have various instrumentation, but it's the way that the instruments are implemented in support of the vocal melodies that usually transports or enhances this record to another level. The title track is a prime example of this. The vocal melody is layered over top of these guitar riffs that are pretty sweet. The vocal harmonies breathe extra life into the song too. The lead off single on the other hand is a great example of the strong vocal presence from Brian on this record. A lot of confidence being spilled over this anxiety like anthem. Now Widow's Weeds is not without its sore spots. I'm not the biggest fan of the electronic drums and the drawn out intro to the track don't know yet. I also think Bag of Bones is underwhelming and repetitive for its melody and vocal performance. It's nothing offensively bad, just forgettable, and it overstays its welcome in the grand scheme of things. But despite those couple dips in quality towards the middle of the runtime, I'm still impressed with how these 10 songs are pieced together. Like each of them are a puzzle piece, they have their function. And with the runtimes of these tracks, with most of them being over four and a half minutes, I'm still captivated and compelled to listen to this album it flies by quite quickly. The project hit its sweet spot with 10 tracks, 48 minutes. The story is enjoyable and cathartic. The vocal performances and instrumental performances are pretty strong and the, yeah, the album artwork is really cool. So yeah, I'm feeling the 8 out of 10. Sound off down below in the comments. Let me know what you think of this new Silver Sun Pickups record. Leave a like, subscribe if you're new in town. Thanks for watching and as always, have a rocking day.